Hey, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a local realtor in the area, and today we're going to cover everything you need to know about the city known as Fountain Valley in Orange County. Now, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for any new notifications when we have a new video that comes up. So without further ado, let's really talk a little bit more about Fountain Valley. It's a city that's located in Orange County, and it's nearby and coastal. Now, the thing about this is that there's a couple different areas that it borders. On one side, basically to the west and parts of the south, it actually borders Huntington Beach, also known as Surf City, USA. And as you kind of go around clockwise, you're also going to run into Westminster. So it's bordered on the other side and also Santa Ana and pieces of Garden Grove and a small section of Costa Mesa as well. So it's fairly centrally located and actually runs through the 405 freeway runs through Fountain Valley. And there's a lot of really great things about Fountain Valley. And one of the things that people want to know is that how big is the city? Well, it's not huge. In fact, it's a place that most people just drive through without even knowing that they pass through it. There's only one zip code and that zip code is 92708. There's an estimated 536,026 people as of the last census per niche.com. And one of the things that people like a lot about Fountain Valley is that there's a lot of people that love living there. And one of their taglines that I've read is it's a nice place to live. I would agree with that. So it's a city that has one of the highest home ownership rates of any city in Orange County with an estimated 70% of people who actually own their properties and only 30% that are renters in the city. So when it comes to home ownership, it has a median price, which is basically the middle price of $734,800 for the median price of a home. And that includes condos, townhomes, and single family homes. The national average, just for a little perspective, is $217,000 for the median home price across the country. So when it comes to the median number for the cost of rents, it's $2,034, and that would be for rental units. The median across the country is actually only $1,062 when it comes to rental prices. So one of the reasons that so many people love calling Fountain Valley home and people are interested in moving into the area is that it has great schools. So one of the reasons why people love living in Fountain Valley is because the quality of schools. When it comes to high schools, there's actually two different school districts that serve Fountain Valley and that's Huntington Beach Unified and also Garden Grove Unified. When it comes to actually the elementary and middle schools, those are primarily served by the Fountain Valley Unified School District. But also with some of the elementary schools, those actually belong to the Garden Grove Unified School Districts. And if you have questions on the school ratings or what have you, definitely feel free to comment and we can get you more information on that. But the schools are something that everyone really enjoys about Fountain Valley. So if you have kids or you're planning to have kids, it could be a great area for you to go ahead and raise a family in. Just because Fountain Valley has more of a suburban personality and there are some businesses that actually call Fountain Valley home. So at the top of the list, so when it comes to the top employers in Fountain Valley, they have a high concentration of medical care. So that's why it's great for you know, retiring seniors and also families as well. So you have Fountain Valley Regional Hospital. And then you also have Orange Coast Memorial Care and Memorial Care and HCR Manor Care. So when it comes to top employers, it definitely is an area. There's also technology companies like Kingston Technology and also Costco is a big employer. Um, there's also Sam's Club. So when it comes to warehouse stores. And so what you have in Fountain Valley is a pretty good mix of suburban personality. You do have some you know, bigger employers such as you know, the uh, hospitals and medical care facilities. But you also have an area that there is things to do. And the biggest park in Fountain Valley that people really enjoy going to 
is actually Mile Square Park. So Mile Square Park is actually 640 acres. So it's a huge park and included in the park, you're actually gonna have three different public golf courses, two lakes, playing fields, picnic shelters, also racquetball, tennis, basketball courts, and also a huge clubhouse where I've actually been to a hosted reception after a wedding as well. So the park is really big and a lot of people like to jog there, people um, rollerblade, ride bikes, but there's plenty of parking there and it is a huge park that a lot of people gather to, but it's actually really a great place to go ahead and spend an afternoon, especially when it comes to summers um, and what have you. But in the area of Fountain Valley, there's also a number of events that people really love attending. So let me tell you a little bit about these different events. When it comes to the holidays, there's actually a tree lighting ceremony and also a annual Monarch Butterfly Day, an annual Easter egg hunt in the park. There's also Summerfest, concerts in the park, and also they have a car show every single year. But one of the favorite things to do there is every single Friday, they do have a farmer's market. So if you wanna meet local business owners, vendors, and get your vegetables, your baked goods, and they even have like a, a chicken and an egg person. So it's super great. So if that's something that you're into, Fountain Valley might be a place that you wanna check out as well. So one of the other things in Fountain Valley is boomers. So I don't know if you like miniature golf, but it's like they have an arcade and there's a lot of things to do, you know, with kids because just adding to that family friendly theme, Fountain Valley really has a lot to offer. I would say that, you know, Fountain Valley is not one of those areas that gets on the map a lot, but it's really somewhere that a lot of people have really enjoyed calling home. And when it comes to people that are looking for homes in certain areas, Fountain Valley always comes to the top of the list not only because of the high educational level and opportunities with respect to raising a family for the schools in the area, but also it tends to be extremely safe. 